We are in Phillips Hollow, which is part of the Cherokee National Forest, and we are in the Nolichucky watershed. This is the only stream in all of Tennessee that has native brook trout to the Nolichucky watershed. Brook trout are absolutely gorgeous. There's a distinct population that's only found in North Carolina, Tennessee, and a little bit of Virginia. Nowhere else in the world, and it's something that folks here in the South are really proud of. TWRA, they really are interested in the Tennessee Aquarium propagating some of these fishes so we can start a new population in Right Prong Rocky Creek. As soon as they uh, see a human, they just dart under a log, dart under a boulder, and you're not gonna get them out. So the way to get it is with a backpack electroshocker. It puts a mild current of electricity in the water. It stuns the fish just long enough for you to dip them up with a dip net. And as soon as you get off that thing, they go swimming away again. We are here assessing the health of this population, and then we will take a subset of adults back to the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute, fatten them up this summer and early fall, and then get the eggs out of the females, the milled out of the males, fertilize those eggs, and produce a bunch of babies to stock next spring. They are serving a really important purpose. If we take 12, 15 adults back to the Conservation Institute, we can create 800, 1,000 babies in May to put back into Rocky Creek. And it's just a much quicker and healthier way for this donor population to start the second population of Nola Chucky Southern Appalachian Brook Trout here in Tennessee. It just doesn't get any better than this, making real on the ground changes for the conservation of Southern Appalachian Brook Trout. You can see the gorgeous habitat we're in. I mean, you couldn't have a better job in the world. For me, this is actually the first stream that I've been a part of restoring brook trout, where we've put brook trout back into a stream and then we're using it as a source stock for another stream. So it's a neat stream for me to work on and be part of this today. Restoration work is a multi-year event. It can even, in some cases, be a career-long process. You have to wait for them to mate and create their own population within the stream. So it takes years and years for this to happen. Days like today are really rewarding. This is a day that is almost a career day for biologists. You don't get to see this happen all the time, and it's a really special event.